Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about adding and subtracting rational expressions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. 2 over 3x squared plus 12x plus 8 over 2x, and we got to simplify this expression. Well, I need to have the same denominator here to combine them. So I'm going to rewrite this problem 2 over a 3x squared plus 12x, here, a little space, plus the second part, 8 over 2x. But what I'm going to do is take this denominator of a 2x and multiply it to this side, 2x. But I have to put it over itself, like so. Because 2x over 2x is 1, it doesn't really change it. Now to have the same denominator, I'm going to do the same thing with this denominator, 3x squared plus 2x, or 12x. So 3x squared plus a 12x here, and the numerator 3x squared plus a 12x. Now that they're being multiplied out, we have the same base, 3x squared plus 12x, and multiply that by a 2x. So now our denominator here is the same, okay? And I'm going to actually multiply that out. 3x squared times a 2x, right, is a 6x to the third power. And 12x times a 2x is a 24x squared. <laughs> the numerator, we can multiply that out here as we combine it. 2 times 2x is a 4x. And then we multiply the 8 to both parts here. 8 times a 3x squared is a 24x squared. And 8 times a 12x here is a 96x. Keep on going. We're going to be simplifying here. Our denominator, we can pull out a 6x squared. And we're left with an x plus 4 here. So I pulled a 6x squared. I got an x plus 4 in the denominator. Numerator, I want to combine my like terms and rearrange, so the 24x squared is the only thing that's the x squared, but the 4x and the 96x gives me 100x. Now, can I pull out anything in the numerator? And yes, I can. If I pull out here a 2x, I'm left with a 12x plus 50 in the numerator. In the denominator, we still have our, I think I'm right here, 6x squared times an x plus 4. That helps me here, so I can simplify this. This x cancels with this x squared, and the 2 and the 6 become a 3. And so my final answer here, which I can write, is just a 12x plus 50 over a 3x times an x plus 4. Don't forget the parentheses. And again, that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more uh, free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.